What kind of conflict do you practice with the people who come into your life and care? Does it work well to force them to do what you think is best? Would it work better to help them learn to trust their own discernment, uh, to find what's best for everyone? Do you want the leaders of tomorrow to be in the habit of forcing their way through difference or of practicing peace by working with those who disagree with them to find truly sustainable solutions? Peace has to do with learning to do conflict well, and this requires practice. If you agree, you're ready to work for a more civil society, a more humane world. Perhaps a world where we care for one another is just over the horizon. Welcome to Peace Practices. The choice to practice peace is now in your hands. Here's how we do it. In this story, we'll practice one way to change how bullying works. To get right to the point, we will put into words dynamics that are usually hidden. The more advanced the practitioner, the more their words will fit naturally into regular conversation. I told you not to play with her. I wasn't going to. Do what I say or you'll be sorry. How do I react automatically and find that it doesn't work out well? You're wrong. Let go. No, you're wrong. No. We use movement of the body to incorporate the concepts that we are demonstrating. For example, how do I respond with you and peace practices in mind? You're wrong. I'm listening. How can I respond by changing the rules? I told you not to play with her. You told me what to do, and you grabbed my wrist. How could everyone get what they need? Do what I say or you'll be sorry. We could play alone, or everybody could have a turn. Peace practices can help everyone learn to work and play together so that everyone gets what they need. The method you've just seen is called martial nonviolence because it's been proven to break the cycle of violence and can be learned like a martial art. When you take martial nonviolence and you create a program for a specific group of people, that's called peace practices because peace requires practice to be your best option in the middle of stress. If you choose to bring peace practices into your community, you'll learn to do conflict well, to work well together, and you'll carry tools through the rest of your life to practice peace out in the world. Please make contact so we can design a program specifically for you, work with you in class, and one-on-one. -on -one. The work of peace will then be in your hands. Please subscribe to our video series as well so you can integrate this work with yours. And thank you very much for being here.